I'm gonna show you exactly how I got back 100 hours of my time each month using this AI content agent that we built. Uh, and ultimately, if you're like me, you're having real conversations inside of your business uh, with your clients, with your team every single day. But when it comes to actually creating content, um, I used to just seem to plank. I would forget all of the golden nuggets that I actually shared. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how I solved that problem inside of our business, ultimately by building an AI agent inside of NAN. Now this system takes real meaning transcripts from my day to day and it's not random prompts or AI fluff, and it turns them into ready to post LinkedIn posts, Instagram reels, and really whatever else you want. Um, it's fully automated. It's built around your actual conversations and expertise, and it's saving me hours every week while keeping my content real sharp and aligned with what we're actually doing inside of the business. So if you've ever struggled with content creation because you're just too busy working on the business itself, um, stay tuned because I'm going to walk you through the full live build step by step. And by the end, you will have a full agent. And I'm going to show you exactly how to optimize this for other use cases as well. All right, so we are going to show you step by step exactly how to build out this AI agent. Now, this is what the agent looks like when we are all done. Uh, and then ultimately, you know, we're sending this over to a Google sheet, but you can send this information over anywhere. You can see here we have real one, real two, real three, and then we have YouTube topics, topic one, uh, title, explanation one, topic title two, explanation two, and then LinkedIn post, post one, post two, post three. Um, and these are all written for you based on actual conversations that you're having in your business because we are pulling the transcript directly from your meeting. So if you're a CEO like I am, you're having a lot of meetings either with clients, with uh, people inside of your company, um, sales conversations, and there's a lot of gold nuggets that happen on those calls. And I always wanted to know how do I extract those without like taking a note real quick and writing it down and trying to remember what we were actually talking about. So this is really straightforward. You need three accounts to be able to do this Four technically you need a Google suite account. So, you know, Gmail, uh, Gmail account, basically, you need a um, chat GPT playground developer account. Now, this is super easy to set up, you just want to go to um, platform.openai.com forward slash playground. Um, and once you do, you can create a developer account through our credit card on there. It's super, super affordable to be able to do it this way. Okay. You also will need an N8N account. Um, an N8N account is similar to Zapier. I highly recommend uh, you start playing around with it because it is very, very powerful. And then lastly, a Zapier account, which you probably already have if you have an online business of any sort or a business in general. Now, the first thing we're going to do is set up the Fathom transcript um, trigger here for your Zap. Okay, so we're going to create a new Zap, and then the trigger is going to be Fathom is the app. Uh, the trigger is new transcript, and then you're just going to sign into your account. So it'll just usually have you sign in through Google. Uh, and it's super, super straightforward there. I'm not going to go through those details. Uh, if you get stuck, let us know. But uh, when we come into configure, we want to make sure that it's set to my meetings instead of team meetings. Otherwise, you'll have way too many meetings. Uh, the content is supposed to be about you and your experience, not your teams necessarily, but you could do team meetings. And then lastly, we have tests. So all we're going to do is click find new record, uh, and then it's going to pull in a new record. Okay. Once we have that new record, we want to select it and you'll be able to see the transcript right here. So as long as that transcript is there, you're good to go. And you're going to click continue. Now, the next step is you are going to add a web hook. If I hit the plus icon, you can literally just type in web hook um and it'll pop up so web hooks by zapier is right there okay i'm going to delete this action because we don't need it uh and once we have our web hook our action event is going to be post okay then we are going to configure it and the configuration is pretty simple We're, we need a url we need the payload type to be form and then data we want to put transcript in here and then the actual transcript now you can add an additional one here which is date created and we want to insert from here the date that the meeting was started uh, or that it was created, right? So you can use the start time, the end time. I usually just use the actual start time and boom, okay? 
Now, this is the information that's going to pass over to N8N when we run this webhook. Okay. Now, to pass this information, we need to open up N8N and we have to add the webhook node right here. So we ultimately are just going to click this plus icon and we type in webhook, select webhook, and then we get the webhook node. Now, again, I'm going to use the one we already have over here just for simplicity. But what you need to note is there is a test URL and a production URL. We want to test with the test URL. Um, so we click on test and then we copy this link right here. And this link is going to be pasted into the URL section over here on Zapier. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, in the content workflow uh, of N8N, we want the HTTP method to be post as well. And in the path, you can just leave. Authentication doesn't matter. You don't need to change it and then respond immediately. Yes. Okay. So once we have this done, um, we basically want to click listen for event. And this is going to start testing the workflow. And then this is where now we can retest or test the zap on this end, okay? And you should see a request was sent to webhooks by Zapier about zero seconds ago, okay? So that'll all be good. Now, when I come over here, you can see this test data made it over. So now I have the body says date created and then the transcript, okay? And that is all we need for this part. Now, the second piece is going to be uh, open AI chat node. Now this is different than the agent node. So if you come in to add a new node here, uh, you have advanced AI and you will see AI agent. We use that for a lot of things. For this, we're just going to use open AI and select that. And then we're just going to click send uh, or sorry, message a model. Now, when we do this, this is going to pop up. And this is what you see here, here and here. And the reason I'm doing this, you could technically do it all in one model, but it's just easier for me to split it up for this video. Uh, and and just in general, I like the organization a little better, um, but you could throw it all into one single uh, chat model, right? Now let's review the uh, Instagram real one first. So once we have executed this node, you should see it go green. And then we are just going to add the open AI model and drag this thing here, right? We're going to connect that. Now, when we open this up, you should see on this left hand side, a schema. And we in the body of the schema down here on the left hand side, we'll see date created and then the transcript. Okay. Uh, now, you do have to connect an OpenAI account, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, really, we're going to click Create New Credential, and you'll see API key and then Organization ID and Base URL. All we need to do is go create a new API key right here. So you would open up your uh, Playground account once you have this created. You're going to navigate to the top right-hand corner and click on Settings. And then we're going to go to the bottom side, or sorry, the left-hand side, and click on API keys. Okay. Once you do that, you're just going to click new key and then you're going to click, um, you know, N8 and, um, you know, whatever it may be. I use my old API keys, but you want to create a new one. So N8 and content agent, and then you can put it under a project, right? So I'm just going to put it under N8 N and then create secret key. Now that is going to give you the secret key. And all we do is paste that key into here and then save, and it will be authenticated. Okay. Next step, resource is going to be text. Operation model um, is going to be message a model. And then the model itself, we want to scroll through and find GPT 4.0. Now, that's at the time of this video that could change, but you just want to use 4.0. Okay. Now, the next piece of this, and this is where a lot of people get confused. I did at one point, you need a system message and a user message. And what this means is that the system message is telling the agent or the AI what to do. And then the user is providing the information to use the prompt on. Okay. Now, how do we come up with such a detailed prompt? And I'll show you why it's so detailed uh, in one second here. I wish this little corner would pop up. Uh, let me go to another one. So there we go. Perfect. So you can see this prompt is very, very large. And the question is, how did I write this thing? Guys, I didn't write this thing. This is where you need to use uh, AI to help you build AI. Uh, so 
in here, what we basically do is go into ChatGPT and you want to, you know, kind of write out this piece and some of the key details, okay? Uh, and then you let it know that you need it to write a system, a system prompt for N8N to accomplish blah, 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 right? Whatever you want. Uh, and then you want to make sure it is written in Markdown. N8N can read Markdown a lot easier than it can plain text, right? So we have this inside of here. Um, and basically we want to make sure that we just paste it in there. Once it's pasted in there, we have the whole prompt and you want to make sure this is set to system. Okay. And then we're going to click add message and we're going to add this. Now, this part, all we're doing is saying here is the transcript. And then this transcript simply comes from right here. We just click this, drag it over here and drop it into there. And there you go. You now have that. Now, you want to turn off simplify output and put output content as JSON. It'll make it a little easier on you as far as the formatting. Okay. So once we have that, we would then just test the model. So when this is in here, we just click test step and we're going to see it take that information. It's going to process for a minute because it's going over to the developer, a, a chat GPT. It's processing it. And there we go. It's already done. Okay. Now choices, we can look at it and we can see the hook, the setup, the main idea, the lesson, and the CTA for post one. Then again, the hook, the setup, the main idea, and the lesson for idea number two. It's all in there, okay? So really, really cool. Now, the last question that we have to ask, and again, we just do the exact same thing for each of these, um, but we the system prompt is gonna be slightly different. So YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, all exactly the same. Now, I put Slack in here just so you can see what this looks like, but typically I'll probably just do Google Sheets. Uh, the Google Sheet means we're just sending it to a row here. Uh, I don't really want to clog up my Slack. It's already, you know, got hundreds of messages in there every day, um, but you could. So you can connect it to a Slack node or a Google Sheets node. Again, guys, to connect the node, you just click the plus icon here and then you search whatever you want, right? So Slack, you got Google Sheets. Uh, you can put this information really wherever you want. Uh, so we're going to use the Google Sheets use case, for example. Uh, and when we come in here, I'm just going to delete all of this just so you can see it. Um, so real one, we are going to drag these pieces into it. So we have the hook, the setup, the main idea, the lesson, CTA. So we're going to drag the hook, paste it right there. We're going to grab the setup. And this part is a little tedious, but it's really not a big deal. Uh, the main idea, we're going to click there. Um, and then the lesson. <clears throat> and then ultimately the CTA. Um, so boom, that, that's it. As simple as that, right? And now if we test this step, these two are not going to send because they're, they're all in red still, but you'll be able to see this one. Um, if we come right here, see, there we go. It shows that it sent. And then we come over here and we can see, boom, that is exactly where it went. So this is amazing. Now, again, the whole point of this is that every time you have a Fathom transcript, it is going to pull that transcript and fire it off to YouTube. Um, or sorry, to your Google Sheets, to your... Um, you know, data, data center or data lake, whatever you want to call it, but it's taking your real conversations, your real meetings and putting them inside of there. So I hope this video is helpful. If you guys get stuck, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. We'll see how we can support you. Um, but go ahead and set this up and you will be amazed at the amount of content and content ideas that you actually have that you don't have to think about. You already thought about them because you talked about it in your meetings. Um, the last thing here would be how to turn this on. You do need to click on this. You need to click on production URL. You need to copy this and you need to swap the URL that is right here. So you just swap that and then publish it. And then once you do that, it will be live. And then you just got to switch active. On. And I'll just do it right now because I need to do it. So I'm going to switch that to active. I'm going to grab this production URL right here. And we're going to throw this inside of here. We're going to click continue. We're going to click publish and publish. And now it is on. You have your unlimited content uh, coming directly from your um, daily meetings. So I hope this video is helpful. If you want to see more, let us know.